Welcome folks, Technivorous here. This is Kira. Now Kira is a 3D object slicing application. It's used in conjunction with your 3D printer to make almost anything. But how does it work? Stick around and find out. We'll go over each setting one by one, each in five minutes or less. And be sure to bookmark this playlist and hit that subscribe button. Please feel free to share. It helps us out a ton. And now without further ado, today on Kira Settings in 5 Minutes or Less 2021 Edition. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. All right, and we are back again. Technivers here. We're going to talk about the last of our profile types, and this is going to be our PETG profile. So the important settings in here, we'll go ahead and discard these changes. The important settings in here are basically the same as the ABS settings, except with PETG, you don't need a draft shield. And we are actually going to make a couple adjustments to the fan setting because we do want, as you can see, a little bit of cooling here. So we have print cooling enabled. We have fan speed set to 20%. So the maximum it'll go is 20% of its actual speed, which means that it won't blow on the part completely at full blast. It'll just give it a little bit of a breeze to help with the, uh, the process of attaching, of melding those two layers together. So um, unlike... ABS, we are not going to be using a draft shield when we are printing with PETG because in this case that is just a waste of plastic. The PETG doesn't really separate unless it has something extreme happen to it. So you shouldn't have any issues printing with it. And the, the biggest issue you may have is adhesion down here on the build plate. In that case, I recommend throwing down a little bit of glue or going ahead and changing it to the raft. The nice thing about the raft is you use a little extra plastic, but it will eventually level out and it will give you a little bit better bottom surface than in some cases just printing directly on the bed because it kind of it kind of evens out any defects, and gives you a little bit flatter surface to work with, and the PETG does a better job of adhering to itself. So you'll have the bed adhering to that glue and the object, or excuse me, the raft adhering to that glue and the object adhering to the raft which tends to work out really well for getting a good model in the end without any corner lifting or things like that. As far as material temperature goes, again, you're going to want to consult your packaging. I don't know why these keep changing, but that was an issue that I was having before with printing with this, so I'm going to have to save this as well. Um, basically, your printing temperature is going to be printed on the package. I have it set to 240 here, but I definitely recommend starting at the low end of the spectrum for PETG because it's kind of backwards from PLA where it will string if the temperature is too high. So you're going to want to leave uh, a little bit of wiggle room and kind of start at the low end of the spectrum, work your way up. I have had some that I needed to max out my machine in order to get a good print, but in most cases 230, 235 is a really, really good sweet spot for PETG prints. That's going to be it for this one, guys. If there's any specific plastics that you'd like to see a profile for this for, Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And other than that, we're going to keep going with the settings. I think we've passed material now. We'll move on to speed and talk about some of the things in there. So stay tuned for the next one. Technivorous out. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit... 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel, but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link, check out our Patreon link, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.